Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So this video was originally going to be about Eggman and how uh, I believed that he was has to do something with the characters being missing, but then some controversy sparked up, which kind of changed this video's topic. But if you've pretty much been off the loop, Digital Purgatory, which is an or was an employee for GameFam that worked on Sonic Speed Simulator, he actually did the classic Sonic animations, which we all know and love. But here's the twit longer that he put out, and I'll read it to you guys. Coming out with my experience on GameFam. To begin this whole situation with GameFam, they are a predatory company that tried to create monopolies on Roblox site by buying out other games and integrating them into their company. I would not generally trust them if they approach you with an offer to advertise your game, especially now of all times, not only to try to create a monopoly, but they underpay some of their positions in this market. Some 3D artists like me are paid 17 an hour with a salary of $30,000 a year. In this industry, most of the standard is at least 35 an hour with a salary of 75,000. While I was unemployed under GameFam, it was a constant struggle due to the heavy crunching and the development team because we were mandated to update Sonic Speed Simulator every single week. This was a heavy toll on my mental and physical self as I had to devote a lot of times to not just the development of the game, but also take care of my dad. And I tried explaining this to the team and higher ups and they mostly understood my situation. I eventually was cut from full time to half time hours without any notice. That's that's horrible. They have absolutely no communication when it comes to the decisions and when I tried to speak about the matter as professionally as I could with human resources, I was basically just ghosted. Essentially, I slaved away every week, working the nights while also taking care of my dad, which has complications due to reasons, putting in my best effort and work into every task just to be belittled and ignored and put on half time, cutting my pay in half. So not only do I go from 17 an hour, which is not even half of the salary of a 3D artist, I get cut in half even more. At that point, it was just more than robbing me of my time and money. At the end of October, I ended up working on the Sonic the Werehog update for Sonic Speed Simulator. I worked hard to get the animations to the highest quality that I could. When I submitted my work to be used in the game, I get a notice that I was terminated from the company that I did not even notice until the next Monday to check on my tasks for the week. And to add insult to injury, they show off the latest asset I heavily worked on their Twitter here. So that they actually tweeted that after he got fired. That that is horrible. And you could tell that the Sonic the Werehog, like the animation for Sonic the Werehog was good, but you could tell that it was rushed. So not only did they fire him, they posted his work without giving him credit after he got fired. But before I get to anything else, this does not have to do with the Sonic Speed Simulator devs. This is not their fault. The devs I've spoken to and the ones that I know are all great and hardworking people. I am 100% sure this is literally just something with the higher ups and this is like an early situation so we don't know like the full details but we pretty much get the gist of it how they are just like making the workers crunch their work if you guys don't know what that means they're essentially just rushing them and if you guys don't actually know who digital purgatory is he was actually the person who made sonic onset adventure if you guys have not played that game on roblox i'll leave a link for it in the description below but it was an, an amazing game for roblox so i guess they just brought him over because that game was incredibly good and rightfully so because he did an incredible job on that game but I'll reiterate it one more time, this is not the Sonic Speed Simulator devs. They are amazing people, so... But I'm sure this has a lot to do with the game's updates not being that good. Because let's be real here, the updates for Sonic Speed Simulator aren't the best, but now we pretty much know why, because the higher-ups are pushing tight deadlines that the developers are working so hard to meet, only to be met with unfortunate situations and circumstances like pay cuts and terminations or possibly even rushed work which over the past couple months, we've seen it in many updates where it's just a scavenger hunt with the reward being a reskin of one of the 10 skins, 10 something skins that are in the game. Because yes, there's only 10, 10 or so skins in the game with the, and like the rest of the skins are just variations of those 10 or so skins. Like, it, like in my opinion, there's literally no point of having weekly updates when all they do is add a new Robux Chow and a Sonic skin that has like a hat on it or something. Like I've said this before that they should like Instead of doing them weekly, they should go bi-weekly. Like, I feel like with it being bi-weekly, we'd be at way better content than we already do. Like, we saw in, the, like, the latest update with Tag. Like, don't get me wrong, the game mode itself is fun, but the execution is, like, terrible. Absolutely nobody plays it, unfortunately. And it, if I had to pitch an idea for it, they should just make a Tag a separate server just for Tag. Which then this would make everyone that's playing Sonic Speed Simulator and then who wants to play tag, it would just put them in a lobby together. But that, that's just what I would do because nobody plays that game mode. I feel like if the devs were able to like make updates bi-weekly, this would be a lot healthier for the game because we would get better quality updates and 
if they were still to do like weekly updates why not make like a two-week cycle for the weekly updates instead of making them the week like the midweek update like make that a weekend update i feel like that's an option that could work as well but just give the devs more time to work with the game because let's all be real here the core of the game is amazing perfect even like the controls great physics perfect like if it were up to me i just straight up port sonic levels from the past and just add them into the game because that's where i feel sonic speed simulator is lacking there should be maps and levels to play and race against people similar to sonic battle r fan game if you guys haven't played that game it's essentially an online multiplayer sonic game where you race against people in sonic levels and i feel like this would be an incredible addition to the racing system in sonic speed simulator because it would add tremendous amount of replayability but i i doubt the devs were are like ever going to be able to do that because of the tight deadlines they're put on which is really unfortunate because the devs are incredible for what they do before i end the video i, I don't want to stray too much off topic but this is such a terrible situation is because like i could kind of tell i could kind of tell this was going on just because like the quality of the updates and like some of the animation like the latest animation for like the amy skin that i don't know i i apologize for the devs who uh like did this because i know that you were probably rushed to do this so it's not the best animation but that is the work of someone who is not getting paid enough and is not and is not getting the adequate time to create a great animation for the game because that that animation is not the best so like like right now i'm just hoping that for the future of sonic speed streamer because yeah i'll probably still be playing the game just because the game itself and the devs have done nothing wrong it's the people above who are doing wrong so i'm not gonna sit here and just like trash on the devs because they are the ones that are working super incredibly hard on this game like they're the ones like putting out weekly updates like i know they don't have to but they're ordered to so they're the ones doing all that for us so just give them a hand for all the hard work that they do for us like it's very unfortunate that this comes out right now not because of the situation that's occurring but because oh we thought that sonic speed simulator is gonna get like a quick revive with the sonic prime update and the rb battles and the christmas update that's coming in the huge update that they have planned all these huge updates and these updates are like built upon like underpaid workers as well as like workers trying to like fit everything to like the last minute like let's just hope the deadlines for these events weren't as crucial like uh, that's the most i can say honestly i have no idea how it actually works because obviously we don't know anything that goes on behind, behind the scenes besides this this is pretty much the only thing that we know happened behind the scenes let me know what you guys think of the situation in the comments down below uh but yeah thank you guys all for watching